What's going on everybody, C4 here today, and it looks like there's been a little bit of a leak. It's not from an official EA source, but I have seen on Twitter people questioning Rex, saying that it went up on the EA dev blogs and they took it down, there wasn't really anything addressing it. So this site called EA Games Blog, which I mean looks as reliable as a fucking 1973 jalopy to get you across country, but just because I've seen a lot of people saying this was up on the official EA dev blog and then they took it down, I think it's at least worth sticking my neck out for. But more so, it brings it back to the concept of how this game is being released and just, you know, why not? Just come on, make it fun. So supposedly they released the top three fastest players in this upcoming Madden. And of course, Mr. 422 himself, John Ross, who now holds the fastest 40 yard dash time in combine history, is going to have 98 speed. According to this article, why not just give him 99? I mean, Chris Johnson had 99. Devin Hester had 100. Why just give him a 98? Why just give him a 98 speed? It says he has 84 kick return. He has 85 route running, which is really good for John Ross. But, I mean, 98 is cheesy enough that if the streaks are as deadly as they are and using almost every Madden, he's going to be a mismatched nightmare. But just give him the 99. Like, why? It just seems like the fact that they're not giving him a 99... Uh, at least in connected franchise mode, says they, oh yeah, we'll give him an ultimate team where he can get the 99 speed or something dumb like that. But um, I certainly think they should have given John Ross, Mr. 422 himself, a 99 speed. They've also released the speed of Tyreek Hill and Brandon Cooks, who have 97 speed for Tyreek and 96 for Brandon Cooks. Uh, and obviously Brandon Cooks has a lot better uh, passing attributes as it stands right now than John Ross. As you know, he's a thousand yard receiver, guy that can get fringe 10 touchdowns. But, you know, the, 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 the whole thing is obviously the fastest players released in Madden 18. But I'm disappointed not to see another 99. Hell, even 100. The fact that he broke the record where Chris Johnson, even up to just a couple years when he got past his prime in his older days, was still getting 99 speed. Give him 100. I think bring him back 100. Bring him back these fun ratings is exactly what we need to see in Madden. I mean, looking back, you used to get the 100 strength player. You used to get the 100 carry or 100 trucking on Adrian Peterson or 100 trucking on Mike Allstott. 100 speed on fucking Devin Hester. 100 hit power on Ray Lewis, Sean Taylor, all these guys. And now they, I think, why won't you have it? I think if a rating system, it should go up to 100. And the top of the top should have 100. I'm not saying that you need to find guys that have 100 overall stats in, you know, looking at every position. You don't have the guy with the strongest iron gets 100. The best accuracy gets 100. But I think there should be five, usually cap it around five guys or so, that have a perfect 100 overall rating in some skill set. Uh, maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just me because I did play in a Madden era where 100s were somewhat common. But nowadays, man, I don't know, man. It seems like Madden, they don't know what they want. They don't. They want to be realistic, but then you have all this ultimate team bullshit where it kind of compromises the integrity of the game. And then they want to be fun because of ultimate team. And they, they just make offline and connected franchise mode way too seriously. It's a fine balance that I think they are struggling to find. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. If these leaks, in fact, turn out to be true and they only give John Ross a 98, did they fleece him of the perfect 99? If not now, when and what deserves a perfect 99 speed? We'll also, shout out to Tyreek and Brandon Cook. So that is this. Hopefully, sooner than later, we may get some official confirmation. And I'll be talking about that on my Twitter at beastmode underscore TV. But we still are waiting on the dev blog on connected franchise mode best believe we'll be doing a deep dive when that comes out but as always guys thank you for watching this is your first time stopping by don't be afraid of that subscribe button if you liked and until next time c4 say peace out